Hi everyone, and welcome to Ask Adrian. My name is Adrian, and I am the Learning Development Specialist at CompuGen Inc. I will be fielding questions from educators across North America on how to create an inclusive and engaging learning space. Today's Ask Adrian question comes from Jordan in Vancouver. He's asking about Teams, specifically how to organize the space within the app. Let's explore this together. To launch Teams, go to the app launcher, the waffle found in the upper left-hand corner, and click on the Teams tile. Within the Teams application, there exists a Me space and a We space. The Me space consists of the app bar, the far left column, and the left rail, the column right next to the app bar. This area keeps track of your own apps and files. The We space consists of the space to the right of the Me space. This is where teachers and students work together. The app bar, sometimes referred to as the navigation bar, acts like a control center for all your work in Teams. By selecting an icon within the app bar, will automatically change what is displayed in the left rail. Let's take a look at some of these icons. If I click on the activity icon, my notifications will appear in the left rail. By selecting my Teams icon, my Teams and channels are displayed in the left rail. This allows me to navigate between various Teams and channels. We can change our view of Teams by clicking on the bottom area within the left rail under More Options and be able to switch from List View to Grid View. To get back to List View, simply click on the ellipses, Switch View, and we can switch back to List. Looking a little closer at the Wii space when Teams is selected from the app bar, you will notice that the class navigation appears near the top of the Wii space, revealing which team and channel you are currently working in. The class navigation acts like a signpost to tell you where you are. Each team created will automatically be populated with a general channel. Below this area are the tabs. Use the tabs to navigate between conversations, files, and frequently accessed tools belonging to that team and channel currently selected. The tabs enable the class to upload, review, and edit files, notes, and content. We can upload a file by clicking on Files, searching our computer either in OneDrive or on the desktop for a file, and it will be uploaded to that channel. The canvas, the area below the tabs, is the space where you work and create no matter where you are in Teams. You will notice that the canvas keeps changing whenever a different app is selected in the app bar. At the very top of the Wii space is the search bar. This is where you can search for chats, files, and more. Let's take a look. If I'm searching for a file, click in the search bar. I know the file has the word student in it, so I can start typing. And within my left rail, filter under files, and it will show me all my files that have the word student. I was looking for student letter writing, and there it is. Jordan, thanks for asking. I know you will enjoy exploring the app and collaborating within it as much as your students will. If you have a question for me, please forward it to learningspecialist at compugen.com. Until next time, thanks for watching.